Hi everyone, Christy Wimber here. Um, I just want to take a few minutes and talk about the area of mental health. And uh, if anyone knows me, knows that this has been an area the last several years that I've really shifted towards, which is almost comical to be honest, because um, y you know we, it's impossible to be spiritually healthy and be Im you know emotionally immature. And I was, I think pretty emotionally immature. But when the Lord started really shifting me in the area of mental health, it, it, it just was this whole reminder that we are body, soul, and spirit, and that we can't neglect one part of those and be healthy. And I think that we are obviously living in a time where uh, we have the pandemic and COVID and what everybody's going through. I can't tell you. So uh, engaging in ministry, engaging with people that are struggling or hurting uh, in any different way, actually, um, the number one thing that people are struggling with is their mental health. And I, you know, I really felt like this uh, several years ago that the church uh, that doesn't get equipped in the area of mental health is not going to be effective in the coming years. And we are here because it's not just mental health. Uh, mental health is so vast. And grief is a huge part of mental health. And grief, um, it, it involves so many different layers and it's so personal and it's so, um, you know, when you're grieving, it's so individual. And, you know, if somebody tells you how to grieve uh, and telling you you're doing it wrong, well, Find another friend because the thing is, is grief is um, something that you have to walk through for your own journey. And mental health has been so affected because of COVID on top of everything else, where we are learning about what we are, body, soul, and spirit, and having all of the kind of pressure of COVID on top of that, and people, um, you know, not being able to go to work, children and uh, youth not being able to go to school, and it has affected um, mental health in all kinds of different ways. So there's not been a... Uh, an engagement that um, that I've had where I've not prayed for, you know, count, countless people that actually have, uh, you know, different areas of struggle with mental health. And it's not a faith issue. Um, it is, you know, sometimes a chemical issue. Sometimes, you know, with the brain, the brain just needs um, some help. And that's why I'm a huge advocate of taking your medication. So when you take medication, just so you know this, it's not just for you, it's for everybody around you. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's that if you need it, you need it. So it's not a faith issue. It's like caring for your body well. And, um, and it's so important that, you know, if you need uh, to take medication for depression or anxiety or whatever it is that your body is, you know, kind of battling with, um, that you take medication. And do you still get prayer? Absolutely that you get prayer. Do you find people that are, you know, loving and that can support you and that don't make you feel bad about yourself? Yes, because people that make you feel bad about yourself are just not nice people. And I think when it comes to mental health, we expect quick fixes. And what we're living in is grief is not a quick fix. Um, sometimes, you know, people that are that have anxiety or depression or what, it's not a quick fix. It takes time and it's scary. Can I just say, Parents that have children that are having mental health issues, like it is scary because you are watching, you know, somebody that you love more than anything else um, have um, pain and suffering and you can't fix it and you're wanting to fix it and it's scary. And if that's you, I'm just telling you, get in some support system where you have other parents um, that can encourage you in it, um, not just the doctors, physicians, but also uh, some relationships, the church, hopefully the church, we're getting more um, areas of mental health support, whether that be depression or bipolar or whatever, or grief. I think, you know, grief is such an important aspect of our mental health. Um, but I just want to encourage us in this area because I think we are just now coming into another whole level of our mental health and where we need to understand what it means for us as individuals, body, soul, and spirit, and what it means for the people around us. And if we're in any sort of community type serving, church, whatever it is that we're serving in, we have to, we have to be equipped in this area because uh, people are struggling and people are hurting. And I'll just finish with this. We have to get our language right. Um, because it, you can do a lot of damage by saying things unintentionally, actually. I mean, some of the most stupid things that people say is unintentional, um, but still very, very hurtful. So we have to get our language right when it comes to um, dealing with the area of mental health and 
what people are living with, struggling with. And if that's you, again, just get some help, get in some sort of support system, whether that's in your family or people you love or for you uh, yourself. So again, mental health. And if you're not really sure what that means and you're just kind of learning what that uh, is, I would encourage you, you and go to my website. You can find um, all kinds of links uh, that deal with all kinds of uh, areas of mental health. Very encouraging, all for free. You can't beat it, it's for free.